Well, it's been almost three weeks since the masking ordinance was put into place here in Madison County, and local leaders say they're seeing a positive effect. Our Charity Chambers has the latest. We're starting to see some flattening of the curve. Uh, in the last week, uh, we had 750 uh, cases. Uh, the week before that, we had 950 cases. There's been over 79,000 COVID cases in Alabama, more than 4,000 here in Madison County. According to Huntsville Hospital CEO David Spillers, we may be getting close to seeing a downward trend. I'll give you the numbers here in Madison County preface that by saying they haven't changed substantially from last Monday. Um, there's a little bit of a a little bit of a good sign that they haven't gone up dramatically since last Monday. Spiller says they are currently treating 219 COVID patients across North Alabama hospitals, which is only one more person than last week. Reporting on Mondays a little bit, the numbers can be skewed a little bit. Patients don't get discharged as quickly over the weekend as they might during the week. So I do expect some of those 219 patients to get discharged today. As the number of positive COVID cases continue to rise in bordering states, they're starting to look to Huntsville for help. Last week, we received calls from hospitals in Mississippi, Georgia, Tennessee, and South Alabama, all asking to transfer patients to Huntsville Hospital. Spiller says they weren't able to take in any of those patients. They weren't emergency transports. They were just trying to offload some of their stable patients to free up space for other patients. As for here in Huntsville, Mayor Battle says he's positive about the future. If you look at the last 14 days, uh, we're very close to the lowest level that um, uh, of any of the major cities in in the uh, in the state of Alabama. So uh, we're starting to see some some turn. Putting the valley first. I'm Charity Chambers for WCDX News.